Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time seeing me, hi, my name is Maya. I'm a 16 year old student pilot and this is my journey. I love documenting my journey on the internet. And here we are, this is my very first solo where my instructor is not even at the ground school. So this is gonna be fun. We got an eight knot crosswind here coming from the left. Nothing that I haven't done before. Information Quebec, time 2153 Zulu. Wind 1808, visibility 10. Sky conditions, ceiling 900,000 broken. Temperature 28, dew point 05, altimeter 3002. Visual approaches in use. Landing and departing runway 22 right, then runway 22 left. Advise on this contact, you have Quebec. Coast Ground Sky 738 Bravo Sierra is at Cafe with Information Quebec. We'll be remaining in the pattern ready to taxi. Coast Ground 3 Bravo Sierra, Feltz Ground, runway 22 right, taxi via Delta Bravo, hold short, 22 left. 22 right via Delta Bravo, hold short, 22 left, 8 Bravo Sierra. So let's go. 22 left at Alpha. Cross 22 left at Alpha, 8 Bravo Sierra. Let's scoot over. Watch out, bird. Watch out, bird. Watch out, bird. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Wah, wah. Thank you. Okay, let's do the run up. Anyway, so a normal run up, I'm going to walk you guys through everything because I have no one else to talk to. Uh, let's actually switch over to tower. Run up, we make sure the engine is good and everything, so when we're in the air, we don't find out there's some abnormality. So if I do find something bad, I'm gonna request taxi back back to Northwest uh, because something isn't right. I don't wanna fly with a broken airplane. So first thing we do, we increase, we set brakes, increase RPMs to 1700. There it is, now we're attacking the mags. These control the ignition system. Here's right mag. RPMs only drop a little bit, that's good. Go back to both, left mag. It dropped, but not bad, that's good. Next, we are going to overload the... I, I forget the name, blanking, but that works. That is good. Now we're going to pull carb heat. Let that run for a little bit. Now, this is the part where it's hot. I have to do this. I'm going to apply full throttle. I'm going to lean the mixture until I see RPM drop. There it is. Enriching it a little bit and a full power idle. Instruments were in the green through all of that. Power idle. Instruments still in the green and engine. Control craft felt field. Does not die. Romeo is current runway two two in use. Wind two one zero at niner. Altimeter three zero zero one. Three zero zero one. Okay, that's better. That's better. Now it's a quartering headwind. That's better than it was. So everything looked good. Let's pull out the checklist. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Okay, pre-takeoff brief. We just brief all takeoffs so everyone's clear of what we're going to be doing. This is going to be a normal takeoff. It's going to be remaining in the pattern. And okay, we're, we are ready. Now we're going to call up uh, Tower. Let them know we're ready. Both Tower Sky 738 Bravo Sierra is ready for takeoff. We're going to two right remaining in the pattern. Three Bravo Sierra, Belt Tower. We're going to two right, clear for takeoff. Make right traffic before we build. Clear for takeoff, runway 22 right, right close traffic and report midfield. Hey, Bravo Sierra. I almost said my other all sign because I'm used to that. Final is clear. Okay. Center line, get that wind correction. Okay, feet are coming off the brakes, ready on the rudders. Full power. RPMs are good. Instruments are in the green. Airspeed's alive. Looking for 55, 55 knots. There it is. I'm at 75. Let's not cheat over into the next runway. The more right rudder this plane loves, and I mean loves right rudder. Not getting as good as performance because we are at 4,000 feet density altitude. Usually I'd turn crosswind right there. So I have 100 feet to go. Pretty smooth. I was expecting it to be a little bit bumpier today. This climb coming, let's turn downwind. And there's 3,000 feet. Let's level off, pull power so we don't get too fast. Full tower sky, 8 Bravo Sierra's midfield, runway 22 right, request the option. 8 okay, Bravo Sierra, runway 22 right, clear for the option. Clear for the option, runway 22 right, 8 Bravo Sierra. Okay, looking good. We're gonna wait till we are a beam the numbers. Actually, I'm gonna do the 500 foot markers today. There it is. We're gonna pull carb heat, pull power to 1,700 RPMs while we're slowing down. We're in the white arc, we're gonna put first notch of flaps, or 10 degrees of flaps. Let's get 20 degrees of flaps in while we're making this turn, to make it a little sharper so we can get a good traffic pattern in here. 
Now we're looking for 75 knots. Looking good, and let's turn final. We are a little bit below glide slope, so I'm gonna add a little bit of power, get all my flaps in. There's glide slope. Slow down. Shelton Tower, Skywalker, November 3, 4098 key, just northeast of me, 3,500 speed, inbound landing. Flaps Romeo. coming up. 3409 Yankee Felt Tower. In our right base, right to right and fourth the ridge. Right base uh, for two to right. Instruments look in the green. Let's look for 55 knots. 55. Get those wind correction angles. Goodness. This thing wants to be airborne. I'm happy with that. I am really happy with that. That's how you do it. Okay, right, Bravo 6. Send your upwind. I'll call your crosswind. Send upwind. You call crosswind. Hey, Bravo 0. Man, flying is so fun. Just trying to maintain VY. And we're going to maintain runway heading until he tells us to turn crosswind. Okay, Bravo here on this uh, pass, make left traffic runway 22 right, report midfield. Left traffic for 22 right and report midfield. Hey, Bravo Sierra. Okay, this is something I have never done before. So this is a right traffic airport, so this never happens. Out of my whole year of flying here at Feltz Field, I have never had left traffic for 22 right. I, oh my goodness, I am so, so sorry. That's where the clip ends. I'm just editing this now. And that's where it ends. And my phone didn't even die. It was like at 70% when I unplugged it from the plane. It just decided to quit recording. Why? What phone does that? It's just, oh, I'm done. <laughs> like, what? That's so frustrating. If you've watched any of my other flight videos, you know that I've had some technical difficulties some way or another. Like, the audio cable doesn't work. My phone dies. My GoPro dies. But <sighs> I swear to you. Every video from here on out, my phone will not die. But good news, my parents did get footage from the outside, so that's, I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess. But it's still gonna be a good video, but I'm so sorry. <laughs> I will make this up to you, I promise. Ah! Uh